Now, I will show you Azure IoT Dev Kit Visual Studio Code extension. Azure IoT Dev Kit is an all-in-one IoT device kit. You can use it to develop and prototype IoT solutions with Azure services. The extension can help you to set up IoT Dev Kit dev environment and build IoT projects very easy and fast. Now, let's create a new project with the extension. Open the drop-down list and select Initialize Project and select IoT Hub Project. So here we use the default file name device.ino. Now you can see a complete structure of the project has already been generated, including device side code and project configuration file. And the two required functions for Arduino project has already been created in the device side code. Setup and loop. Code in setup function will run once when the device boot and the code in loop function will be running in the entire life cycle. It is a still tough work to write code in such a simple template. But don't worry, we also provide some code snippet for the common purpose. Now, for example, now I want to read temperature sensor data in my project. I can simply type LT temperature. And several things are inserted to the project automatically, now including the required including file and some initialize and function to get the data. The only thing you need to do is just call the function where you want. We also write some simple projects. You can load it very easy in the extension. Now let's clear the project folder. Open the drop down list and uh, select examples. And now here we select get started. The extension will download the example from GitHub and then import it into the current project. Very smooth, right? When the project is ready, you can provision Azure services in the extension. Here, we need provision an LT hub. Open the drop down list and uh, select the edge operation. We can select an existing LT hub or create a new LT hub. Here, we select an existing LT hub and then select the subscription and then select the LT hub we want. Select an existing IoT Hub device. And we select AZ3166. Okay, Edge provision has been succeeded. And then let's config the device connection string. Open the drop down list and select config device connection string. Select LT Hub device connection string. Okay, we can see the device connection string has been configured successfully. And the last, we can upload the device code to dev kit. I will select device upload. Okay, after a while, the code has been downloaded to the dev kit.